Let's continue with the next speaker, Jose Sanchez, a PhD in chemical engineering by the Complutense University of Madrid. Since 1995, he's been working as a scientific researcher at the Energy, Environmental and Technological Research Center, CMAT. He's currently the head of the unit of sustainable thermochemical polarization. Amongst his topics, we have thermochemical conversion of biomass and waste, hydrogen production and CO2 polarization. He's going to speak about new technologies of desulfuring some gas and biogas with the projects EcoGas and Godela. Thanks so much. I think I'm the first speaker in this conference working at an R&D center and the first one that will speak about another technology which is not anaerobial digestion. So these are two different perspectives, really. In case you don't know what CMAT is, well, we are the Energy Environmental and Technological Research Center, a public research body belonging to the Department of Science and, and Research. And we're big, we have about 1,300 people working, covering a wide array of research in environment, energy and technology. We're organized in departments and I work for the energy department and we work on R&D with different types of energy, covering wind, PV, integration and biomass with waste. And we're organized in three units sustainable thermochemical valorization and modelization and fuel. This work corresponds to two R&D projects from the thermochemical valorization unit. And we speak about the scientific and technological units we work with. We have bioenergy, energy storage, and hydrogen technologies. So as we were mentioning so far, we've heard a lot about biomethane production through fermentation and anaerobial digestion. But we should not forget that there's another one. I mean, there are others, but the main one is gasification. Here, we produce a syngas, a mix of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons, amongst other things, and we make transform into many things. Amongst them, renewable natural gas, biomethane. But to do so, we need to go through certain filtering and condition stages and if in any of those applications and just one thing we're going to need to take out the sulfur compounds and here we have the tolerances of these processes and in the case of synthetical natural gas we need to desulfur up to really low levels of under 0 0.01 ppm which is what we need to transform biosyngas into biomethane. Another important element is that today we've heard about sulfur, but when we think of sulfur, whether it's for anaerobial digestion or gasification, we usually think of sulfide, but not just sulfide affects catalyzers affected by any sort of sulfur in the syngas. So we also need to eliminate the organic sulfur pollutants and other inorganic species different from sulfide. And based on that, the CMAT, we have a first project to remove organic compounds with sulfur from the gasification gases, that's the ECOS gas project. And based on that, those results, we have the Gondola project when we scale up the development. So, what's different in these projects versus the commercial technology? because these are TRL developments from two up to four. In comparison with the former presentation, we're a step below. We're not yet in the marketing stages. We're in the relevant scale of shows, and what differentiates our technologies and developments we're doing? In the case of eliminating organic compounds with sulfur, the commercial technology is based on hydrogenation followed by sulfide removal. So two stages, two reactors with the associated capex. And how do we do it? Well, we're developing materials able in one single stage to do on-site hydrogenation and elimination of the sulfide that is created. 
thus for organic species. For non-organic species, the state of the art of commercial technology is with mixed up size working at temperatures between 300 and 600 degrees, but with very expensive materials. So we are using soft products, byproducts, and waste from other processes to produce adsorbents. To do that, the sulfuring, but reducing quite highly the production costs because we're working with the waste. And what did we achieve in the Equus Gas project? In that first synthesis stage of new adsorbents, with battery residual powder with zinc and manganese, we produce adsorbents combining zinc and nickel supported in graphene coming from graphite. So we're working in those residual materials, transforming them in added value products, in this case, adsorbents. And we managed to show at lab scale that those materials had that ability for the sulfuring, both for eliminating inorganic compounds, sulfide, and organic, in this case, the target molecules were teothene and benzotiophene. And associated with that problem, regarding the fact that many compounds in the syngas and the anaerobial digestion gases and that we need to eliminate. So for we need to work a lot, diagnosis and sampling systems to know and determine those species that may appear and may get formed. And as a final result from that first Ecos Gas project, we got to a conceptual sign for a continuous sulfuring process with sulfidation and generation. We patented those results, uh, protected a national patent, and we have several articles that will be very interesting in a more scientific forum where you can see what we've done with the project. Based on the recent project, we have a concept of Ecogas, another project, which is a scaling project, which is a gondola project, where we are now making a leap, giving a leap to milligrams, going from grams to kilograms, and we are demonstrating the validation of what is scaling is done, the absorbents are still working very well, so we do it normally with a synthetic uh, gas, but also real gas gases, so that we have pues ver si technical economic uh, uh, data in order to know whether or not it is worth it to keep on working on that pues bueno, technology. So we were able to produce de, absorbents in those kilograms of scales, validation, demonstration, and performance of the absorbents were competing as the same. We had you know, a laboratory scale uh, that means with gram scales, the same as the kilogram scales. Eh, hemos visto que además eh, en el caso we de los that, absorbentes uh, en el caso de los absorbentes no hay una patente de sin par con lo cual estamos en proceso de sacar una patente de sin par y hemos hecho ya el diseño y estamos finalizando right la construcción de prototipo piloto y bueno, pues ahora estamos en el proceso de la construcción de prototipo piloto y bueno, pues lo que nos queda por hacer dentro del proyecto de gondola que finalizará el año que viene en 2024 es hacer ese testeo ya con el prototipo ya escalado con una planta de tamaño más importante es pequeña pero lo que estamos haciendo aquí es una planta que trata dos kilómetros cúbicos hora aquí estamos hablando de esta planta de toneladas de material de gestión de gas de masa en este caso estamos todavía en una escala más pequeña pero bueno los resultados que estamos sacando son interesantes y con eso los resultados que saquemos en la validación haremos el análisis técnico económico haremos el análisis de sostenibilidad del medio ambiente y sacaremos un plan de explotación de explotación y qué es lo que queremos hacer o qué es lo que queremos hacer porque nos interesa pues, este foro, nos pues, interesa, bueno, en primer lugar, pues, contactar con empresas que tengan interés en nuestros desarrollos, que hagan ese escalado de la tecnología, y también eh, no solo trabajar en gasificación, sino aplicar el know-how que ya tenemos para la investigación de gases de biogás, en el sentido de nuestro proyecto gemelo, que es un descarte, 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 by which we also are, are carrying, you know, are having, you know, we are creating observance, you know, through biology. And 
This is a data for you. And I would like to thank you know the two authors of this work. Thank you.